Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Got a few new blooms opened, um, including a first-time bloomer. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Um, we had a look at this not too long ago. Um, three spikes, uh, and I didn't know which one of two Miltonias it was until the blooms opened. And sorry Anne, it's not Queen Anne, it's the other one. <laughs> Queen Anne's the one where I broke the spike and we're now going to have to wait for that to bloom until new growth mature, which will be a while. But this one pushed on nicely. This is Miltonia castaniae, which is a naturally occurring hybrid in the wild. It's a cross between Cloesii and Reginellii, I think they are. Um, does occur naturally. Um, I doubt if this one occurred naturally. <laughs> anyway, I've got three spikes on this, so plenty more blooms to come. But the first one opened over the last couple of days while I had my back turned. They're attractive blooms. It's a sort of bronzy colour. It's difficult to describe that base colour of the petals and sepals. It's not orange. It's not yellow. It's sort of in between, with a hint of brown. <laughs> but a lovely deep purple lip. Yeah, so, um, and a touch of purple just on the edge of those uh, other two petals. So, uh, an attractive bloom. Um, I don't know what we've got here. We've got uh, four buds to come on that spike, so that'll be five, and two, four, five or six on this one, and the smaller one here, which is coming off the same growth, so it's two spikes on one growth. It's just got three or four, probably four. So, a good blooming on this one, and that seems to have done a hell of a lot better since it was mounted, quite honestly. And so was the other one till I knocked the spike off. Um, these things happen, unfortunately. So, that's that one. This little Cattleya's back. This is the um, Cattleya Little Lemon Drops, crossed with Catlatonia, I think. Why not? Catlatonia. Why not? Yes. So, so it's a nice little cross, this one. Lovely rich colours. Um, small blooms, but a good cluster. I think we've got we've got three just op opened and three more to come. Um, it has a habit of blasting one bud. <laughs> but this hasn't long been out of bloom. Um, the previous growth here was the last one that bloomed. Not that long ago. That's already pushing up its new growth. Um, that behaves consistently, basically. As, as soon as the blooms go, the new growth comes. And I've got two growing points on here, so... Um, and it looks like it's just going to continue with the two at the moment. So, another nice little one. That's a re-bloom. That's actually bloomed several times, so uh, nothing new there. This um, black hair type dendrobium is just opening up again. And there's no tag in there, and I've forgotten what that's called. Um, I'll put a pop-up. Um, no, it's not going to come, not this time of day. Um, attractive blooms. Um, pure white, absolute pristine white, with a lovely deep yellowish colour and veining in the lip. A couple more buds to come on that, uh, on this blooming. Um, yeah, I like those a lot. And they last absolutely ages. That's the beauty of those. You get a good couple of months, heading towards three months out of these. So this, this, that one will be around quite a while, which are good. Um, over here... My Encyclia prismatocarpa has opened, and you will probably tell my, by my voice, there's an air of disappointment. I've waited ages for this thing to bloom, and I've seen these at shows with spectacular bloomings on them. Now, you often get a poor spike first time round when a plant first blooms, and I would suggest that's what I've got. Um, these blooms are incredibly sturdy. You can't bend the pet petals or sepals. They're really, really stiff. So very, very sturdy blooms. Um, but some of these are not opening well. They've got brown tips. So uh, reasons unknown. I'm just going to put it down to a first time blooming. And um, the new growth on this one's already pushing out. So uh, that, that's getting going straight away. Now this did have two growing points a while back. And one of them just failed. Um, so now it's only got one. So as a plant, it's not, it's not right. It's not perfectly happy. If it was, it wouldn't have failed a new growth. There's something not quite right here. And I don't know what it is. I will work on it. Um, but the next thing that's going to happen with this, I suspect... <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I will probably wait for the new roots to come and repot it and put it, perhaps take at least the oldest pseudo bulb off. That'll enable me to get it in a smaller pot, which is um, seems to be working not across the board, but in the main. Um, I know this isn't an Oncidium type, but uh, well, it might be. I can't be bothered to think about it at the moment. But I found that the, the sort of ones with the pseudo bulbs like this, rather than canes, excluding Cattleya types, just seem to kick off an awful lot better the smaller the pot. They just do. It's difficult to explain why, but they just do. So that's what I'll probably do with that one. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's, um, the fragrance on this is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. But um, it's very few of these blooms are what I would call perfect. This is about the closest one to perfect, apart from being upside down. Um, are there still some to open? This is sort of what the bloom should look like, yeah? The, um, the top sepal, which is now upside down, pushes upright with a little curl on the top. The other two curl under, and um, the petals just sort of stick out sideways with a bit of a twist on them. And then a delicate little lip, which is probably out of focus with the amount of light I've got in here. So, uh, so there we go, a few new things that have opened. Um, other stuff just sitting there or you know <laughs> moving on as they say so uh, I mean this Koniko for instance um, since I last look looked it's pushed out another couple of clusters of buds it just keeps going these older canes just seem to keep blooming um, normally when you get a deciduous type dendrobium the canes bloom and they're done that's it because they've already lost their leaves but these just keep going um, I've got loads of new growth at the top of the plant as well. Um, last year's growth here, these three, are starting to drop their leaves now. And um, these, in comparison with what I'm working with that's blooming, these are much bigger, stronger canes. Yeah, so uh, the, those probably won't bloom till next year. But as long as these continue for this year, I'll be happy. <laughs> and then that's the next lot of growth um, pushing on at the top there. Um, yeah. So uh, that's what's going on at the moment. There's a Tolumnia got a spike, just the one. That will be a first time bloomer when it does. And um, I think the next thing to open is probably going to be that little Orangus up there. The four spikes are pushing on nicely and um, the buds are forming with their spurs. Uh, once they get to that stage, they don't take long to open. So we should have that one soon. They're not terribly long lasting, but incredibly fragrant just after it gets dark. So I have to remember to come out in the dark to see those. <laughs> right, that's it for today and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.